All right, welcome to um, another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover something a little bit more advanced. This is called uh, Flexbox Centering. So we're going to just do the basics of Flexbox Centering at this point. Um, it's one of the things that's plagued web designers and developers for many years, and there are many creative and interesting ways around uh, Flexbox or uh, centering text on a page or inside of an element. Um, Thankfully, now Flexbox makes it super duper easy, and I'm going to show you right now uh, how easy it is to just center uh, a whole element in the middle of a page. And so when it, when the element goes responsive, uh, you'll see that it doesn't move up or down, and you don't have to do any fancy calculations or figuring things out that way. So <clears throat> this is for basic elements, which are not... Uh, position absolute or position fixed, those are uh, a different type of thing, but if you're talking about elements that are inside the regular flow of the page, then they would be considered relative or static uh, position. Uh, that's what we're dealing with today. So you can see I have two things here. I have one outside container, and I'm using Jade, by the way, uh, which is just, it's similar to SAS or LESS if you've used those preprocessors for um, CSS, which you can see down here, I'm also using SAS. And this is all being done in CodePen. Um, so if you haven't ever tried CodePen, it's a really great program for you to be able to do uh, small kinds of things like this. I tell people it's like a, a sketchbook or a doodle book um, to kind of sketch out your ideas very quickly without having to do a full setup of a new website. Um, but I use Jade, so you can you can see that what happens is all of what I just showed you is being compiled into regular um, HTML. I'm just not writing it like that. But it corresponds. You can see I have a container. You can see I have a div class uh, that's the box. And then inside that box I have a paragraph element. So it's just a different way to write it. <clears throat> uh, it makes more sense to me. It's cleaner to read and to evaluate. Uh, whenever I'm looking at things and there's also some some fun little tricks and things that you can do with it um, like creating mix-ins and things like that that you can do also in in a SAS or SCSS or whatever so I'm writing this HTML in Jade but just know that that's a container with a box inside of it and then there's a P element inside of that and no I'll, I'll show you that in a moment and then uh, I'm also writing in SAS so I'm writing with the SASS, not SCSS. So I don't do any of the curly brackets and I don't do any of the um, semicolons. That's what they're called. So if I were using um, SCSS, it would be a semicolon here. And you could write the brackets too on that if you wanted to. But this also makes sense to me, so my HTML and my CSS are looking very similar, and it's just a lot easier for me to evaluate. But let's get into styling this. So I have just a basic margin zero on my body, which takes away any of the margins. Um, I know on this particular setup that I have, that's what I need to do to make it flush to the edges. All right, I'm just going to give the container a background of pink just so that we can see uh, what's going on okay so this is my container um, and then I'm also going to give it a height of 100 of the viewport okay so it's 100 percent of the viewport I'm getting a funky little thing up there oh mm, yeah I'm not sure Maybe that'll go away in just a minute. Now, I also want to make the box white. So, just so we can del delineate the box from everything else. I'm also going to give this a little bit of padding. Maybe uh, 50 pixels. <clears throat> there we go. And that gets rid of the white space. We're going to do zero on the top. So 50 pixels of padding on each side. 
and you can see that now that's all that it is right so we have 50 pixels and this is somewhat centered but not really right so when we move uh, the responsive part here now what we need to do on our container is we need to set our container we need to display flex now automatically that makes some changes here and it allows us 100% height to really be seen and in order to center with uh, flex and flex box so now this container is a flex container so it's it's using the flex box all of the properties that we have with Flexbox we can find inside there. Um, so you have to get used to the terminology because it's a little bit funny and it's not uh, totally semantic or intuitive. So in order to center or to move things on a horizontal axis you need to do justify content and then we want to center it but you're not going to see really much a, of a change here. The change is going to happen in a moment. Um, I should auto, I should put a uh, max. I'll just do a max width of 400 pixels on this one. Okay, so you'll see it. Okay, so now you can see that it's centered in the page. It's moving and flowing the box is moving and flowing before the box was growing you see how the box grows but it doesn't move in the center of the page what we want the box to do is to move as we move in the page okay so now we have our centering property going on <clears throat> and then in order to align the box uh, vertically, at least in this regular position, everything flips whenever you add a flex direction column. And then it starts to um, it starts to center everything vertically as opposed to centering it all horizontally. So that's a little bit of a a challenge with Flexbox. You just have to change your thinking a little bit. So in order to to get the uh, vertical alignment in the middle we need to say align items and then we're also going to do center and just like that you have a box that is vertically aligned in the middle of the, the container and we have a box that is horizontally aligned and that's the perfect middle so it's always aligned this way and this way you can see that there's some that's our padding kicking in right here but when we get out our max width keeps it here we could even add a little add some padding to that to make it a little bit nicer so you can see that we have our nice box perfectly centered in the middle of the page now let's give a let's give a real world example because this is a little bit nebulous um, so instead of this, let's go ahead and do, um, let's do a headline here, and then we can do some sort of a paragraph text here. So this will be like your classic um, hero image, right, with the with text overlaid on top of it. So instead of this padding or background pink let's go ahead and add and this is a particular uh, SAS style so you do background and you come underneath and you can add all of your attributes to the background so we're going to say image URL now, I like to use these images from Unsplash so if you've never used Unsplash they're just a, a bunch of like really great free images that you can use <laughs> And um, let's go ahead and set our images to 100%. So. Just in case. So let's 
so width and then um, so our background image is here we're going to say the size is cover and we're going to say the position is center okay actually let's do top top center get a space in there okay so I like this let's take this off and we'll give this a color of white and now you can see that on our page we have a hero image that grows with respect to our uh, our web page and we also have um, center text that's going to stay perfectly centered. Now this is uh, not always a very easy thing to do. Um, you could even throw a button on here. Sorry, this is the syntax for creating a button <clears throat> in Jade. And or creating a link, I'm sorry. And then I'll just style that as a button. So A, let's do the color of white. We'll do a border, uh, one pixel solid white, and then we'll do padding, 15 pixels. Okay, that gives us a nice little ghost button, text decoration none. if it's going to give me that or not. Okay. And then uh, inside the box, we're going to center everything. So text align. Center, so that'll center all of the stuff. And then uh, let's see if we can put some margin on the top just to remove that to him. Let's fact let's put it on let's put it on the P element. Oh, you know what? Getting a funky something here. There we go. Okay. So <clears throat> against the backdrop of that picture, uh, not the greatest thing. Let's see if we could get a different picture that would be better. This allows you actually to uh, choose an image. So usually something between like 600 and 1100 is a number that you can put in here. So we'll just choose something. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's a, a better image for this type of thing. Uh, but you can see how easy it is to create just a nice hero image that goes all the way across and that covers the page. And then also we can create a centered text that always stays right in the middle of everything. Now this would have required a lot of um, figuring out margins and doing absolute positioning maybe or centering uh, some different things that are a little bit more hacky um, but with Flexbox it's it's super easy you just a couple of lines of text and then you're right there to having objects or things centered in the middle of the page so that is basic Flexbox centering I hope that makes sense to you and uh, you can see that it doesn't take very much code to get there. Just remember that you need a container for any of the items that you want to center. So you just have to wrap it in a div or if you want everything centered on the body, uh, you can use the body. And then you just display it flex. And then <clears throat> if you're just doing a normal, uh, the default for Flexbox is horizontal orientation so along a horizontal axis so justify content moves things left and right align items moves things vertically up and down um, 
And if you if you change that to a column or orientation, which everything uh, the main axis is this way, then it'll just be the opposite. So justify content will align things vertically, and align items will shift things horizontally inside of that um, that vertical orientation. So. Um, very nice, and uh, hopefully you can experiment a little bit with Flexbox. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can leave them down in the video below. And be happy to answer them, and uh, maybe if you can suggest some other real-life scenarios that maybe you, um, you have questions about Flexbox or how to use it, or maybe how Flexbox can uh, help you in some more sticky situations, just leave those in the comments of the video. And uh, thanks.